when you do things that others won't, you achieve things that others can't. Okay, so you, know, you guys just did something that a lot of other people, a lot of people would have quit. How many of you guys, you know, your, your teammates motivated you and you, you wanted to finish because you know your teammates were there and they, they wanted to finish? You guys, uh, you guys did a good job. Guys, Navy SEALs are forged by adversity because the nation expects us to be physically harder and mentally tougher than our enemies, okay? So today, I'm gonna forge you a little bit through adversity. I expect complete discipline, you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. My name's Chief Cameron, so if I ask you a yes or no question, you respond yes, Chief, or no, Chief. Is that, is that clear? Yes, yes chief. chief. Is that clear? Yes, Chief. So just to recap, the first day when we came out, you know, I was screaming at you, I was yelling at you, we were talking about discipline, but that day was really all about the concept of ownership. There really is only one winner and everybody else is going to have a problem. And as the lesson kind of went on, I heard you guys, I think you guys started to catch on when I asked, you know, what was, was wrong with your group, you know, I think you guys started to catch on that the correct answer was, that's my fault. Where's your team? Whose team is that? What well, you were over here, you're like number one. You were all about trying to be number one, and your whole team was back there. They had no leadership. You should have ultimate responsibility. They don't have any leadership without you because you're up here. You guys got 30 seconds to get jacked up. I want to see some Spartan warriors in 30 seconds starting now. Go. Just think about that in the future. It's, it's not just saying it's your fault. It's really looking at the situation and figuring out how you play a role in it and what you can do to, to be part of the solution. Okay, and it, it comes back to being a humble leader and admitting mistakes. So the best leaders are the ones that, you know, admit because then they can come up with a solution. Day two, we talked a little bit about mental toughness, but the idea there is you have to take yourself sometimes to a dark, dark spot to, to test where you're at. And uh, I think you guys all got tested in your own way. That's what went, you know, that's what you're going to need to use after one. Five more. 20 Five seconds. More. Come on. 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 Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. One more. Come on. One more. Come on. One more. Come on. 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 Yep. Keep breathing. Focus on your breathing. Focus. Do not focus on the pain. Let's go. You have to always find opportunities to take yourself and push yourself to those limits, okay? You probably did more sit-ups. Hopefully you did more steps than you've done before, two minutes. So you want the hardest competition, right? But then you want to, as a team, you want to overpower them, both physically and mentally. Brady was gunning. Brady was gunning. That's right here. That's there, there, there. Right here, right here, right here. That's it, good job, good job. I want you to repeat what I say. <clears throat> My body is just a tool. My body is just a tool. And it will do what I say. And it'll do what I say. Say it again. My body is just a tool, and it'll do what I say. You guys, the mind, your mind is a weapon, okay? Your your hands aren't weapons. Your stick isn't a weapon. The knife I have in my pocket is not a weapon. A gun is not a weapon. Those are all tools, just like your body is a tool. But you all have a weapon inside you, okay? And it's your mind. And when you learn to control your mind, you have access to whatever weapon you want. Okay? Your body is a tool. And it will do what your mind tells it to do. Okay? But it's going to try to trick your mind. Okay? You're going to enter the water in a little bit, and your body is going to send some signals to your, to your mind. It's going to send some, some uh, conflicting signals. It's going to start to try to tell your mind that... Uh, you're doing something bad, okay? So what, and it's going to be your job, your test today to tell your body to shut the fuck up. Jeez. My body is just a tool, and it'll do what I say.
I'm just seeing the people that are way ahead of us and they're way up there. Our body's a tool and it'll do as we say. Come on, all the way up, all the way up. Take this, uh, some of these lessons, some of these concepts. I hope you take it um, with you this season, and I, and I hope you just obliterate some of your opponents. <laughs> but, but listen, listen to this this one other thing. Don't expect it to be easy. Okay, it's going to be a grind. Okay, other teams aren't going to come down and bow down to you, and you don't want them to because it's the same thing. Right? If you work, if you work like a high school JV team, that's going to make you a better team. <laughs> So you want the hardest competition, right? But then you want to, as a team, you want to overpower them, both physically and mentally, and outsmart them. When you do things that others won't, you achieve things that others can't. Okay, so, you, know, you guys just did something that a lot of other people, a lot of people would have quit. How many of you guys, you know, your, your teammates motivated you and you, you wanted to finish because, you know, your teammates are there and they, they wanted to finish. You guys, uh, you guys did a good job. Go, boys. Good job. One team on three. One, two, three. One team.